Welcome back to another Madden NFL video in which today we have a NFC West matchup between the San Francisco 49ers and the Los Angeles Rams. Let me know in the comments below who do you guys think will win this game in real life and what do you guys think the score will be. If you like this type of content, like and subscribe. It really helps the channel out and I appreciate all the support as we are trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. So without further ado, let's get straight into this one and see which team will come out on top. Let's get it. Matthew Stafford and the Rams will get the ball to start off the game. So let's take a look at his stats from last year as he had 326 out of 521 attempts, 3965 yards, 24 touchdowns to 11 interceptions. Here on third and one, Stafford's going to hand it off to the running back who finds space down the middle of the field as he takes it all the way up to the 48-yard line. That is Kyron Williams with the carry. Let's go take a look at the replay right there as Williams gets nice blocks up front and follows his lead blocker all the way up to near midfield. Here on 2nd and 12, Matthew Stafford has time in the pocket and hits his favorite wide receiver, Cooper Cup, as he flips the field and takes it into 49ers territory down to the 25-yard line as the Rams get into field goal position. Stafford had a nice clean pocket, and Cooper Cup just gets past the defender and cuts up field for the nice Rams gain. Here on first and 10, Matthew Stafford quickly fires it out to the flat to his tight end Tyler Higby, who takes it to the 14 into the red zone and gets the Rams another first down. Here on second and 10, Matthew Stafford has a nice clean pocket, works it down the middle of the field to the best rookie receiver of last year, Puka Nakua, who fights his way through and takes it all the way up to the one yard line. And we have an injured player on the play and that is Puka Nakua as he is working his shoulder down on the sideline. Here on second and goal Matthew Stafford has time in the pocket and works the left side of the field as the pass is completed and caught by Cooper Cup as he dances in the end zone to celebrate along with his teammates following along and look at how Stafford led Cooper Cup to the back of the end zone for that nice catch. Great drive by the Rams to start off the game as they take a 7-0 lead over the Niners. It is now time for Rock Purdy to take to the field. So let's go take a look at his stats from last year as he had 308 out of 444 attempts, 4280 yards, 31 touchdowns to 11 interceptions. Here on 2nd and 5, the Niners have a man in motion and Purdy fires it down the middle of the field as he completes it to number 11, Brandon Ayuk, on the play, who takes it near midfield down to the 49-yard line. And Brock Purdy felt the pressure and had to get rid of the ball. Ayuk does a great job to high point the ball and come up with that reception. Here on 2nd and 6, they have Kittle in motion and Purdy's going to find Kittle out on the flat as he easily gets the first down and takes the Niners into field goal position at the 33-yard line as he hits his celebration right there. Here on first and 10, Brock Purdy has a play-action pass, and he is met in the backfield by number zero Byron Young on the play as this pushes him back eight yards, making it a second and 18 at the 41-yard line, and that might have just pushed them out of field goal range and the Niners have got to make those yardage back to try and get into field goal attempt once again. There we got Jimmy Garoppolo supporting his new threads on the Rams sideline right there. Here on third and 12, Brock Purdy fires it over the middle of the field to Brandon Ayuk who breaks the tackle and takes it all the way up to the 13 yard line. Here on 2nd and 4, they have Kittle going in motion, and Brock Purdy hits him into the flat as Kittle dives into the end zone. But there is a flag on the play, and it looks to be on Trent Williams right there. It'll be a holding, and that touchdown will be negated, and this will push the Niners back 10 yards to the 17-yard line. Here on 3rd and 14, Brock Purdy steps back in the pocket and checks it down to Christian McCaffrey, 
who bulldozes his way down to the two-yard line for a 49ers first and goal. And with 30 seconds remaining here in the first half, San Francisco will take their first time out. And look at how McCaffrey crashes towards the defenders and gets that first down yardage. Here on first and goal, Brock Purdy hits it out to the flat to Christian McCaffrey, who gets into the end zone, and we are all tied up at seven apiece as McCaffrey celebrates with his teammates. Let's take a look at the replay right there, as McCaffrey was wide open, as there was no defender within five yards of him in the end zone. 49ers get the ball to start off the second half and here on third and three Brock Purdy fires it down the middle of the field to Jennings number 15 right there as he takes it all the way up to the 41 yard line. And let's take a look at the replay right there as Purdy felt the pressure and quickly released it to Jennings to complete that third down. Here on first and 10 on the next play Brock Purdy fires it towards the left hand side of the field as the pass is completed to Jennings once again as they get it to the Rams 47 yard line. Here on third and eight Brock Purdy steps back in the pocket and he is trying to escape but is met by a duo of Rams that is Turner that comes up with the sack on Brock Purdy. Now let's take a look at the replay right there as Brock Purdy held on to the ball way too long and should have gotten it out of there but the pocket collapsed quickly as well. Here on 2nd and 10, Matthew Stafford is in the pocket and is quickly met by the 49ers defender, and that is number 57. That comes up with the sack on Matthew Stafford, which pushes the Rams offense back to the 21-yard line and sets up a 3rd and 17. Here on 3rd and 17, Matthew Stafford quickly fires it down the seam, as he completes it to number 5 on the play, who flips the field and gets all the way into the end zone. Great job and throw and catch by the Rams offense. That was 2-2 Atwell. That comes up with that touchdown reception. Stafford quickly gets rid of the ball, and Atwell does a great job to get past his defender and outrun the safety right there. And the Rams are going to take a 14-7 lead over the Niners here towards the end of the third quarter. Here on third and 11, Brock Purdy has a man in motion. It's a play action pass. Purdy completes it towards the left side of the field as the pass is completed to his tight end number 81 on the play. As he takes it all the way up to the 43 yard line. Brock Purdy does a great job to throw a perfect pass right on the numbers for his tight end. Here on 2nd and 1, Brock Purdy hands it off to McCaffrey who finds space on the right hand side of the field and gets the 49ers into field goal range at the 35 yard line. Here on 2nd and 5, Brock Purdy steps back in the pocket and completes it towards the left side of the field as the pass is completed to number 11, Brandon Ayuk on the play who takes it all the way up to the 8 yard line. And let's take a look at the replay right there. As Brock Purdy does a great job to find Ayuk who's open on the left hand outside right there. Here on first and goal Brock Purdy has a play action pass and he throws it towards the left side of the end zone and the pass is caught and completed for a touchdown to Brandon Ayuk as he flexes in front of his teammates and we are all tied up at 14 apiece here in the fourth quarter. Great job by Ayuk getting behind the Rams defenders to get into the end zone. Here on first and 10, Matthew Stafford is in the pocket and is chased down for a sack by number 98 on the San Francisco 49ers. And that was Javon Hargrave with the sack as he makes it a second and 19 at the 18 yard line for the Rams offense. Rams go three and out and Brock Purdy has time in the pocket and works the left side of the field as the pass is caught and completed for a first down to the fullback Kyle Juszczyk who takes it near midfield to the 47 yard line. Here on first and 10 Brock Purdy has time in the pocket and works the left side of the field as the pass is completed to Jennings who steps out of field and takes it in the red zone down to the 19 yard line. 
and there is 23 seconds left here in the game as the Niners can set up in field goal position and win the game. 49ers will send out Jake Moody on the play right here. The kick is up and right through the uprights as time expires. And the San Francisco 49ers will defeat the Los Angeles Rams 17-14. Let me know in the comments below who do you guys think will win this game in real life and what do you guys think the score will be. If you like this type of content, like and subscribe. It really helps the channel out as we are trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. If you're a fan of the NFL and college football, stay tuned as we'll be covering both all season long. Appreciate all the support and we'll catch you in the next one. Take care.